Hi everyone, it's Jana. Would you like to see how I will do the gel polish on these beauty nails? Then continue watching. I always start with an antiseptic. Then file the pre edge as much as it's possible in this case. Then buff the nail plate to lift the cells up. Then, using wooden stick, I'm opening proximal nail fold for future work with an e-file bead. It's actually not just pushing back the cuticle, but literally opening the fold. The goal of this process is to leave the cuticle on the nail plate, so an e-file could successfully clean it up later on. Then, using an e-file bead, I'm going to lift the colored tissue of the proximal nail fold, because I was planning on doing a complete e-file dry manicure but I overestimated my abilities. <laughs> okay. Usually, the ponychium of a buyer is accustomed to the rough treatment and insensitive. In this case, it was absolutely opposite. The skin is so thin and fragile, covered by thick colors, Next, e file the cuticle from the nail plate. In this video, I wanted to show you what does the real time work look like. But I'm pretty sure you would get so bored and would fall asleep, so I mixed it up with speed up parts. Now, when it's real-time part of the video, you can see how gentle and careful the movements are. Which looks so aggressive and not careful on a speed-up video. Since I realized an e-file is not a good idea in this case, I decided to go with my usual technique, combined manicure. I swept off the dust and applied cuticle softener. 
and using cuticle scissors, cut off callus teponychium. I'd like to draw your attention to the way it should be cut off. A cutting step should be 1 to 2 mm length. Blades must be placed at 90 degree to the nail plate. If you lean blades towards yourself, you'll not cut all of the dead tissue. If you lean blades towards the client, most probably you'll cut off living tissue. Also, 90 degree cut ensures client's eponychium won't split off into thousands of hand nails. Of course, if your tool is sharp. As if it's dull, it will split off no matter the angle. Oh, there are so many details, guys. It should be put into a separate in-depth video. Do you even need it? It really feels like most of the nail techs here in the US don't bother upgrading their skills. Of course, not all of us. Many wonderful nail technicians are following the trends. Go for an advanced training and seek learning new techniques, aim higher, but the majority just do what they were taught at the cosmetology school. They get more experienced and do that basic stuff with ease. And it looks good, but those techniques are so outdated. No wonder the prices for nail services are so cheap especially comparing to the related professions like lash techs, hairstylists, etc. Nail techs have meager income and clients do not appreciate the work done. It makes me so sad. I really want to bring the manicuring art to the next level. So I'm actually thinking of making series of the free educational videos with an in-depth explanation of every simple detail of modern professional service, which will be highly useful for amateurs, beginners and experienced nail techs. So please let me know if you want it and if you need it. As always, next goes the dehydrator. I applied it twice. And next, acid free primer. Behind the scenes, I applied base coat. Sorry, I lost this part as well as the part where I mixed black and white together to get the grey gel polish color, as I didn't have it at that moment, but needed for this set. So, using that custom-made grey gel polish, I covered six nails completely. And the rest of four nails I left with negative space around the ponychium, aka Half Moon Manicure. After it was decided to beautify it with glitter foil ombre fade.
I wanted to discuss with you the types of clients who bite their nails. From my experience, I would divide them into two categories. First is a client who doesn't care much about how their nails look. And just times to times they want to get their nails done, just for fun or for some special occasion. They usually want to get a full set, long nails. Second is a client who wants to stop biting nails and wants their nails to look beautiful permanently. Therefore, they don't mind if it will take a while for their nails to grow and become long. If you are a nail tech, do you agree with me? Can you add more categories based on your experience? Or if you are a client who bites their nails, please let me know if it's true for you. And if not, kindly let me know how is it in your case. As for me, I am absolutely against making long full sets on beaded nails. As with 95% possibility, this client will break at least one nail. And most probably it will be to the blood. So I suggest to start with gel strengthening, hard gel overlay. And next time or after, we could go for longer nails, but not too long. Better slowly grow natural nails to the desired length. This way, client will get used to longer nails, long nails won't bug them that much, and everyone will be happy. Does my point make any sense to you? That's it for today. Please don't forget to leave your comments. I really need to know if you need free educational videos, and what's your opinion on beaded nails and this work. Also, Feel free to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and remember that sharing is caring. I will see you on the next one.